This is a robot tractor, an autonomous vehicle that's driving itself as part of a world first experiment. And these are the rules of that experiment. So this is the safety fence around the hectare and the team don't really want to go inside it, but they are allowed inside if there's a safety issue or if they need to do any repairs, but they can't touch the barley that's growing here. Instead, the sowing, spraying, monitoring, harvesting of the crop itself, all of that is done by the robots and the drones. After planting the seed, you need to roll the field. But today, the farming press and project partners are out to see the robot tractor go through its paces. Really pleased, actually. It's uh, all the hard work's paying off and uh, we're finally showing that this can be done. For the first time, a team that's more usually focused on the machines has a vulnerable crop to worry about. But for pigeon pests, well, there's a high-tech solution. Slightly worried about the pigeons. They've just definitely been picking off some of the um, grain that's actually been spilt from certain areas and things like that. But I've got a method of dealing with that later on. I'm going to be using my drone to actually scare them off. If the drones keep the pigeons away, then the next big task is how to monitor the crop when you can't go inside the fence. It's, it's very odd because my natural home is in a field uh, looking at soils and plants so to, to be at home for the majority of it looking at things on my laptop is going to be quite unnatural. It's working perfectly today but it's not been easy. So far there have been several sleepless nights. Got there eventually, as I've said it's not perfect, uh, there's room for improvement but the crops in the ground, we've done it robotically, we've done it autonomously um, and we're all just really chuffed really. Now the team have to think about the final step, creating a robot combine harvester. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Newport, Shropshire.